Hey guys, this is old David at Custom Sling on this fine Monday morning. I believe it's October 3rd. A little under the weather today, but I was pretty sick over the weekend, but I'm doing better now. I'm just, my, uh, I, I hurt when I cough in my, in my lungs, you know what I mean? <laughs> From coughing so much, my muscles are sore. But anyway, I wanted to show you this. Um, what we got here is two inch wire rope slings that we got to inspect and test. Now what we'll do is we'll wash all that mud off of them and everything. And uh, we'll be testing these to 148,000 pounds. But we'll clean the mud off of them, inspect them real good for any pitting or uh, broken wires. And uh, then we'll lubricate them uh, with some wire rope lubricant and make them look almost new again. You know, the thimble's been pulled on pretty good. They've been using small shackles in there, which causes that. They should have had a little bit larger uh, shackle in there, but can't always get that. But, uh, but yeah, they're in pretty good shape. I think they'll pass with flying colors. Well, anyway, I just want to show y'all guys that. I hadn't posted nothing in a while. Just been busy and ain't felt too good, so thought I'd throw that out there and we got other things still going on though. Got another pile of chains there and some some under there and y'all have seen that before. I don't know why I keep hanging on to it. But under it is a whole bunch of four leg spreaders that we got to uh rebuild, put new wire on. Yeah, we still making our slings and stuff. We still got piles of repairs to do. Some of these people send these chain slings. I think I done showed that one, I think, before. I don't know. People send these things in and want them repaired and takes them forever to get the POs to us to do it. I got another set of these blocks to do. I got a, I got a machine these. I got to bevel these edges off here. They sent me some that were made wrong again. But we'll get that fixed up for them. That's why they're doing business with them because we take care of them. Had these little ones here. Now this is funny. They took, now this is what engineers do. You know, I, you gotta have engineers, but you, you gotta use common sense too. They made these blocks and chain, chain goes right here, right? Well, they're designed for 3H chain. Now, the machine shop did their job. They made it just like the drawings. But the engineer that drew the drawings made that slot 0 .40. Well, the width of a chain link is 0 .40. <laughs> it ain't going to fit. And then, when you get it down in there, you got a little uh, slight weld on there where they butt weld it. And it's a little wider too. So I had to take every one of these, these I think there were six of them, and uh, I had to mill them out to work. So I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand what some people do things, the way they do it, it don't make sense. So that's why you need to leave this stuff to the rigging companies and not let everybody else handle it because we're used to dealing with these problems and we see it coming before it happens. So we always make sure the stuff is done right before they do it. Well, anyway, I got another company making them for us. Uh, our customer had these made by a machine shop uh, in uh, Bowling Green, and they did a heck of a job at making these blocks. Uh, really, really nice work. But uh, I got a company that we use to make these that knows rigging, knows what's supposed to fit and not fit and they'll be right when these come back and I won't have to do any more machining on these things hopefully so anyway got a four leg spreader there all coiled up ready for the customer yeah cable laid slings there cable laid is a real flex flexible sling or flexible cable that we made into a sling uh, we got several 
hooks that are solds, blocks, customer needs. Uh, and this box here is actually a confined, a confined space rescue system. Um, really ain't much show. It's a tripod basically uh, that you mount winches to. Um, so we a little dark over here this morning. I gotta get some better lighting over here. When these doors are down, you can't see much. But that that big old socket right there. Yeah, I'll put my hand on it. You can kind of tell. But we gotta work on that too. Well, anyway, that's all I got to show today. We'll come up with some more stuff a little on down the road. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good week.